in the, the loud field earlier today. You talked about you know him kind of becoming the player you guys know he can be. I would say a great start for him. Can you talk about that player, the player he can be? You know, what is that player? What kind of player do you guys want him to be out there? Well, I think he's very uh, very reliable two way center that uh, is starting to find some more offense, starting to be a little bit more comfortable. Um, he's getting stronger. Um, and he's somebody you can rely on to play against anybody. And that's been a nice, you know, nice little tool to have in our, in our, in my toolbox right now that I feel he can go against anybody that line can play against anybody. So, uh, we've relied on him a lot for energy here over the last little while and, and moving forward, uh, you can see them grow as, as a line right now. Bruno, I know a lot of teams are kind of moving toward the two goalie system, but does it still feel like a little bit of a luxury that, you know, whether it's Bob, whether it's Spencer Knight, uh, Whatever option you go to in net, you know you're you're going to get a reliable, uh, really elevated performance from the goalie. Yeah, I mean that's a coach's dream, you know, when you can have two that play at that level, and uh, we feel very comfortable with either one of them, and they're both off to you know I know off to great starts, and I was really happy for Spence last night. So how did you feel Jumbo did first thing back after being out? <laughs> Yeah, I thought Jumbo was good, really good. You know, I think, uh, I mean, he's played so many games, you know, if he's out for two years, he can come in and still play, give you minutes and play that way. And, uh, you know, I really liked his pace. I thought his, his last week of practice, he was, uh, could see he felt much better. He skated much better. Um, you know, just a smart, smart hockey player. We haven't heard about some guys like Marchman, Duvaro, Holy Gillette. Just any updates on Yeah, they're all like, uh, I guess, probably, probably week to week, you know. Um, you know, just kind of day to day getting updates, but doesn't look like they'll be available here for a week or two at least. And Noah Jar, we haven't asked about a while, obviously, a long term thing, but just uh, any updates on him? No, he's progressing as planned. Um, I know I spoke to him today, he's chomping at the bit to, to get going, but uh, he's got to let that heal. So hopefully we'll see him, uh, you know, sometime later in the year here. Looking ahead to uh, tomorrow, big game coming up against the Wild. The team's got off to a good start. What do you expect with the, the matchup tomorrow? And Obviously, some familiarity uh, over there for you. Yeah, yeah. You know, they've been playing really good hockey, and uh, they're they're a team that really makes you earn anything you get anywhere anywhere on the ice. And they're a relentless group. Um, I've had the privilege to to be around a lot of their players, um, either coaching or drafting or around the development side. So very familiar. Um, you know, it's nice to see some of the growth of of some of the young guys and and. Uh, you know, the Eric's and X and the Greenways and the dumb, you know, the Dumbas and the Brodines. And um, so that's, I'm very proud of them. Just hopefully tomorrow night, they take it easy on us. And, um, you know, maybe they owe me one somewhere. George Richards, Florida Hockey Now. Sorry, couldn't hear you. Uh, yeah, it, it, we, we talk to players all the time about when they face their old team. I mean, is it going to be a little special tomorrow or seeing guys tonight and Mike Russo's coming in? I mean, it's going to be a time, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I played them, you know, when I was playing. I played in the playoffs uh, when I was in Colorado. I played against them. So I think that part of uh, of that is is gone. It's much different when you play than than when you're doing other things, if you're coaching or if you're – you know, in management. Um, so th those are, I don't feel that same thing. It, it, it's, uh, you know, it's more of just a hockey game right now for me. Um, I've been through the process of being emotional and, and being uh, a lot of great memories there for sure. Um, a big part of my life was, was spent in Minnesota and, and that organization. Um, but this is a totally different chapter in my life. And 